see hydrogen spectrum is the basis right for uh, Bohr model of atom okay. hydrogen spectrum spectrum is the base is the basis for for Bohr's model for Bohr's model of uh, atom okay so Bohr proposed the <coughs> Uh, uh, model for atom based on the hydrogen, the results of hydrogen spectrum. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to focus on what is hydrogen spectrum. Okay, and uh, uh, what are the different uh, uh, series of lines that comes out from hydrogen uh, atom. And uh, we are also going to see how to calculate the wave numbers of those lines. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we we'll start now with the uh, hydrogen spectrum. Okay, what is basically hydrogen spectrum? See, in a discharge tube, okay, you take a discharge tube, right? Discharge tube is a glass tube which has uh, two electrodes, okay? Uh, one is connected to negative terminal of the battery, the other one is connected to positive terminal. Now, you take hydrogen gas, you take hydrogen gas H2, you know very well, uh, in the gaseous state, okay, you have only hydrogen molecules, but hydrogen spectrum, okay, hydrogen spectrum is the spectrum for hydrogen atom, hydrogen spectrum is nothing but hydrogen atom spectrum it is actually, it is not hydrogen molecular spectrum. Okay, H2 means molecule, it is not molecular spectrum, it is hydrogen atom spectrum, right? So, actually we take hydrogen gas in a discharge tube and when we apply very high voltage, right, above 5000 volt, right, and you should take the hydrogen gas at low, very low pressure. You take hydrogen gas at low pressure and between the electrodes apply very high voltage. What will happen when you apply very high voltage? Uh, this hydrogen molecule undergoes dissociation, okay, and produce hydrogen atoms. Okay, let me write like this: hydrogen molecules split into hydrogen atoms. Okay, one molecule produces two atoms. So, in this uh, discharge tube, you may have thousands of molecules, or uh, ten thousands of molecules, or lakhs of molecules, right? So all molecules, just assume like this, all molecules undergo dissociation and produce hydrogen atoms. But these atoms, since they produced due to high electric field or due to high voltage, these hydrogen atoms usually are not exist in the ground state. These hydrogen atoms exist in the excited states. These hydrogen atoms exist in the excited states. Okay, and here I like to make one point that not all hydrogen atom exists in the same excited state. Okay, what is meant by excited state? I'll tell you. But the point here I like to make mention is that hydrogen atoms, okay, produced are all these hydrogen atoms are not in the same excited state. Okay, hydrogen atoms, atoms exist exist in different in different excited states in different excited states okay what these hydrogen atoms will do in general by nature we say that excited if any atom or any molecule exists in excited state then we say that it is unstable excited states are generally unstable so what uh, the atom or molecule will do, the molecule will come down and uh, it will go to the lower energy state. Okay, excited state, excited state is unstable. Excited state is unstable. So, what the uh, species will do, what the hydrogen atom will do, now all hydrogen atoms are in the excited state. 
but not in same exit state they are in different exit state okay since exit states are unstable the atoms will go to lower energy state okay it is what we call as transition so transition takes place electrons undergoes or the atoms undergoes transition from a higher excited state to lower energy state to lower energy state the lower energy state may be a ground state also okay may be a ground state so so this is a natural tendency that excited species right undergoes transition so that they go to lower energy state okay when they come down to lower energy state what they will do they will emit along with they will emit certain radiation they will emit radiation whenever an excited atom or excited molecule undergoes transition from higher ex energy excited state to a lower energy state okay the difference in energy is comes out in the form of radiation okay so this is the idea now is it see what actually happens here is that so from the discharge tube when you apply very high voltage so we have hydrogen gas when you apply high voltage hydrogen as the molecules split into hydrogen atoms okay the hydrogen atoms are in the excited state but different excited state what this uh, excited hydrogen atom will do it will go down to lower energy state okay it undergoes transition when they undergo transition it will emit radiation okay you will get a radiation and if these radiations right when we pass this radiation through a prism through a prism okay these radiations get dispersed get dispersed so if you uh, keep your photographic plate here so this is photographic plate photographic plate okay you'll get a bunch of uh, line at one place and another bunch of line at another place and another bunch of line at another place okay the photographic plate these radiations get dispersed and you'll get bunch of lines appear on the spectrum okay actually wavelength increases from uh, bottom to top lambda increases wavelength increases from bottom to top okay so this is the first bunch of line right and second bunch of line third fourth fifth sixth right so from the hydrogen uh, you, you take hydrogen gas in a discharge tube apply very high voltage and uh, the gas should be at low pressure at low pressure when you apply high voltage what will happen molecules undergoes dissociation and produce atoms these atoms are produced in the different excited states okay these excited atoms right these are all excited atoms these excited atoms undergoes electronic transition and goes to lower energy state these atoms goes, goes to lower energy state when they come down to lower energy state it will emit radiation it will emit radiation okay and you will get lot of radiations coming out when you keep a prism okay these radiations get dispersed okay and in the photographic plate you will get a bunch of lines appearing at a lower wavelength and another bunch of line appear at little higher wavelength another bunch of line appear at another higher wavelength like that okay then what the scientists did that Uh, they analyzed these lines okay they took the photographic plate and in the photographic plate these lines appears like this observe carefully so this is photographic plate in the photographic plate the first bunch of line okay it will appear like this there are closely spaced lines right wavelength increases from left to right right see here Uh, a closely spaced lines appears at lowest wavelength, lowest possible wavelength. 
Then next uh, uh, closely spaced lines will appear at next uh, higher level. Then like that we get bunch of lines. So this is the first bunch of line. This is second bunch of line. This is third bunch of line like that. Okay, you get bunch of lines. Many many lines appears very 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 closely. Closely spaced lines appears in the spectrum. Right in this. What scientists did was they analyzed these lines and they found that first bunch of lines they called them these lines right are called these lines appear as a bunch and this bunch of lines they called uh, as a series and this is called Lyman series Lyman series the first bunch of line appear appear at the lowest possible wavelength is called Lyman series. Then the next bunch of line okay, appear little above the Lyman series. They call these bunch of lines as Balmer series. Balmer series. Right? Lyman, Balmer. The third bunch of line Lyman, Balmer, then Passion. Passion series. Okay? Lyman, Balmer, Passion, then bracket, bracket series, then we have fund series, P -U -P -F -U -N -D, fund, fund series, then Humphrey series, Humphrey series. Okay, so from the uh, hydrogen lamp. This is actually hydrogen discharge tube. From the hydrogen discharge tube, different uh, radiations are coming out. When we place a prism in the path of these radiations, these radiations get dispersed. And when these radiations, dispersed radiations are collected in a photographic plate, okay, they produce bunch of lines. These bunch of lines appears like this. The first bunch of line which appear at lower possible, lowest possible wavelength is called Lyman series. Next bunch of line is called Balmer. Sir. Next, Passion, Bracket, Fund, Humphrey series. Okay, you get different series of lines. Students observe carefully. Series of lines means bunch of lines. Okay, it does not contain only one line. It contains many, many, many lines. Many, many, many lines. They appear closely. Okay, and form a series. Okay, and uh, it was further analyzed by scientists and uh, they gave uh, explanations for these re, uh, re, uh, series of lines. Okay. First line, let me start with the Lyman series. Lyman series. Lyman series. Okay. What is Lyman series? Lyman series, I have told you, it appears at the lowest possible wavelength in the photographic plate. Okay, or uh, they are the lowest possible radiations uh, that appear in the photographic plate. Now, where this series of lines will appear, in which region? Diamond series appears, appears in UV region of the spectrum. In UV region, ultraviolet region of the spectrum. Ultraviolet means high energy radiation. Okay, Lyman series appears in UV region of the spectrum and when Lyman series appears, okay, students observe carefully, I have told you in hydrogen atom, we have a nucleus and there are uh, shells, right, this is K shell, a first shell, the second shell, we have third shell, actually I should put circular orbit, but just for understanding purpose, I will show like this, okay, I will show just only curves. Fourth orbit, fifth orbit, like that we have many, many, many orbits. Then we get Lyman series. Lyman lines appears when transition tra takes place from 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, 6 to 1, 7 to 1, right? Any higher level to the first level, to the ground level. Okay? This transition will produce line uh, radiations. And this radiation creates 
a line in the photographic plate and those lines are called as Lyman lines. See what I am trying to say. When transition takes place, suppose an hydrogen atom present here. I have told you when you uh, apply very high voltage, you will get many many hydrogen atoms. But not all hydrogen atom exists in the same excited state. Some hydrogen atom may present here, some hydrogen atom may present here, some hydrogen atom may present in the fourth excited state, fifth thing like that. Okay. When hydrogen atom undergo transition from 2 to 1, right, <coughs> or when electron undergo transition from 2 to 1, you will get a radiation. That radiation will create a line in the spectrum. It is called a Lyman line. Then 3 to 1 will give a line, 4 to 1 will produce a line, 5 to 1 will produce a line. So any higher energy to the first lowest energy transition will produce uh, a line in the spectrum, it is called Lyman line. All those lines are called Lyman lines and the bunch is called a Lyman series. Okay, so what I am trying to say, listen students, I will represent N2 as higher level and N1 as lower level. Okay, so if higher level is 2 and lower level is 1, 2 to 1 transition, okay, will produce a line in the spectrum. 3 to 1 transition will produce a line. 4 to 1 transition will produce a line, 5 to 1 will produce a line like that. Like that many 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 lines right are appearing very closely and these lines are called all these lines are called Lyman lines. Lyman lines and the bunch is called as Lyman series. Okay, each transition will produce a radiation. Each transition emits a radiation having different uh, frequency or wave, uh, wavelength, okay. You can also write in the form of wavelength, hc by lambda 1. This is hc by lambda 2. So, each of the transition will produce a radiation and these radiations have different wavelength, okay. But 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, all these transitions will create a line in the photographic plate. This transition will give one line, this transition will give one line, this transition will give one, one line in the spectrum. Right? These lines are called as Lyman lines and the bunch, the bunch of lines is called as Lyman series. So for Lyman series, this is the point you should keep in mind, N1 should be 1 and N2 should be, should, uh, should be 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. It should be higher value. Okay. And here students observe carefully, in any series, Okay, in, in, in the case of Lyman series, the transition 2 to 1 is called the first Lyman line. It's called the first Lyman line. Because this uh, transition, okay, will produce line in the lowest wavelength. Okay, in Lyman series, this is the line has the lowest uh, wavelength, so it is called the first Lyman line. Okay. Similarly, this is second Lyman line, this is third Lyman line, fourth Lyman line. Then transition may occur from infinity higher level, infinitely high, higher level to the first level. This also produce a line, but this line is called a limiting line of limiting Lyman line. Let me write here. Limiting Lyman line. Okay. Observe carefully. 2 to 1, 3 to 1, any higher level to first level, those transitions will produce lines in the spectrum and those lines are called as Lyman lines. The bunch, this bunch of lines is called by Lyman series. In Lyman series, the transition 2 to 1 will produce a line which is called first Lyman line. Okay, And the infinity to 1 will produce a line which is called a li limiting Lyman line. Okay. So, infinity to the lowest level is called the limiting line, 2 to 1 is called the first Lyman line, okay, keep that in mind. And all these lines appear in the UV region, all these lines, right, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, all the transitions produce lines and all these lines appear in the ultraviolet region of the spectrum, okay. So this is the point you should keep in mind, right. now. We know very well 
menu very well mm. <coughs> when transition takes place from higher level n2 to, to some lower level n1 let me give general expression then i will write the expression which is required for uh, uh, lyman series or lyman lines right assume that a transition takes place from n2 to some higher level to a yeah, some lower level n1 right for this transition i have told you some radiation is emitted okay some radiation is emitted which is having some wavelength hc lambda 1 some radiation is emitted okay i can also write this in wave number hc nu 1 bar this is in terms of wavelength this is in terms of wave number you can write in wavelength or wave number okay it's up to you now observe this carefully how to find the wave number of this transition how to find the wave number very simple this hc nu 1 bar okay that is the energy of radiation that is emitted or this is nothing but energy of a photon energy of a photon that is emitted is equal to energy of the higher level minus energy of the lower level okay energy of the higher level minus energy of the lower level or i can also write this as hc nu 1 bar equal to what is the energy of the higher level what is the formula you know very well uh, in bohr model we discussed that the formula is this minus 2 pi square m z square e power 4 over 4 pi epsilon naught the whole square into n square h square is a general formula now in the place of m i'll put n2 n2 square okay this is the energy of the higher level minus then the energy of the lower level okay that is e1 level which is minus 2 pi square m z square e power 4 over 4 pi epsilon naught the whole square into n1 square into h square okay now, if you take the uh, common terms here, that is 2 pi square m z square e power 4 over 4 pi epsilon naught the whole square h square. I will take all the common terms out. So, what is left with here? We left with minus 1 by n2 square. Here, minus or minus become plus. So, plus 1 by n1 square. I will write the positive term first. So, plus 1 by n1 square i write first then minus 1 by n2 square okay students observe carefully it's a very very simple one but uh, uh, very important now our goal is to find the wave number therefore i'll bring this hc to the right hand side okay in, in the next step i'll write so new one bar equal to right or in general new bar because uh, I, I have told you uh, when transition takes place from different uh, uh, level you get different different photons okay that's why you put uh, lambda 1 uh, for next photon lambda 2 like that but in general we'll put lambda here new bar okay this one uh, has no meaning here let me just write gender form okay let's see new bar so new bar equal to 2 pi square m z square e power 4 over 4 pi epsilon naught the whole square. I will bring this hc to the right hand side. So, h into h square become h cube into c. And we get 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Okay, students observe carefully. Except z, except this z square, all other uh, terms are constants. And if you remove that constant into or if you replace that into a new constant we call that constancy 2 pi square m e power 4 over 4 pi epsilon naught the whole square h cube c this is a constant actually it is a constant and that constant is called as is represented as rh what is rh rh is nothing but Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom Rydberg, Rydberg's constant, Rydberg constant that is applicable for hydrogen atom. That's why I put H here. Okay, it is a Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom. 
I have told you this formula is applicable only for hydrogen atom and hydrogen like species. Okay, this formula is applicable for this formula is applicable only for hydrogen atom and hydrogen like species. Okay, that's why this constant is called Redbird constant for hydrogen atom. Just note down carefully. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace these constants okay into a new constant that is rh okay let me write the next page just copy down This is, this is not new not, this is simply new, okay, new bar square. Right, but the actual meaning here is when, uh, when, when a hydrogen atom undergoes transition, okay, from uh, some higher level N2 to some lower level N1, okay, when transition takes place from higher level to lower level, it will emit it will emit radiation okay having the energy hc nu bar this is the energy of the photon energy of the photon that is emitted when transition takes place from n2 to n1 okay and this energy of photon is equal to the energy difference the energy of the photon is equal to the energy difference between higher level minus lower okay now i'll write the formula by replacing these constants by a new constant that is Rh. So what we get is Rh here. Sir. What we get is so Sir. new bar equal to wave number new bar equal to Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom into Z square into 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square. Okay. Very, very important. And the value of Redberg constant HR is equal to uh, 109678 centimeter in this. This is the value, the constant value of hydrogen, uh, Redberg constant for hydrogen atom. 109678. And you know very well uh, the value 1 by Rh, students observe carefully, 1 by Rh, that is 1 divided by the Rydberg constant, okay. You will get the answer in centimeter and if you convert that into uh, nanometer, you will get 91.1 nanometer. This is very important, remember this value. 1 by Redberg constant, okay, is roughly 91.1 nanometers. Right? Now, let me come to uh, line. This is the general formula. It is applicable for any uh, series, any lines, okay, in the hydrogen spectrum. This formula is applicable for any line. You can use, apply this for Lyman line, Balmer line, passion, bracket, fund, any line you can apply. Okay. Now for Lyman line, observe carefully. For Lyman line, right? N2 can be any value, any higher value. It can be 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. up to infinity. But N1 should be 1, right? N1 should be 1. Therefore, what I am going to do in this formula, in the place of n1, I will put 1. So, what will I get? Mu bar equal to Redberg constant for hydrogen atom into z square into this is 1 by 1 because n1 is 1. 
minus 1 by n2 square. Okay. So this formula get reduced to Rh into z square okay, into 1 minus 1 by n2 square. Okay, 1 minus 1 by n2 square in the case of uh, uh, a Lyman, Lyman series. Okay, this is the formula for Lyman line. Right? If you want to find wave number of any Lyman line, you just substitute the value of n2 here. Okay, if you want to find the uh, wave number of this line, say 2 to 1. 2 to 1 means 2 to 1 is called first Lyman line. First Lyman line. So, what is the wave number of the first Lyman line? Okay, you just take the higher number. Okay, higher n value. Substitute that here. So, what we will get? Nu bar equal to Redberg constant for hydrogen atom into z square into 1 minus 1 by n2 value is 2 here now. So, 2 square is 4. So, 1 minus 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. So, what we get is, let me write the next page. Just copy it out. Wave number for the first uh, Lyman line. Okay, first Lyman line. I will just put first. Wave number for first Lyman line. Just turn the page. So, wave number for the first Lyman line is equal to Redberg constant into z square into 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4, right? 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. And what is the corresponding wavelength? Wavelength for the first Lyman line. Wavelength is nothing but reciprocal of wave number. So, you know the formula for wave number. I will substitute this here. 1 by Redberg constant into z square okay into uh, 3 by 4 I will put 3 by 4 here okay uh, if you take hydrogen atom right I told you this formula is applicable for hydrogen atom as well as for hydrogen like species suppose if you take hydrogen atom for hydrogen atom z is 1 if I put z equal to 1 here then what will I get lambda for the first Lyman line as 1 by Redberg constant times 4 by 3, okay. 3 by 4 is in the denominator. If it goes to the uh, numerator, it becomes 4 by 3. And what is 1 by Rh? 1 by Rh value I have given already, which is 91.1 nanometers. So, the first Lyman line equal to 91.1 into 4 by 3, right. So, uh, if I multiply and uh, divide the value by 4 by 3, once again, if I multiply by 4 and divide with the value by 3, what will I get is 91.1 into 4 divided by 3. It comes out around 121.5, 121.46. Students observe carefully. This is the wave number for the first Lyman line. Take note. This is the wave number for first Lyman line in the hydrogen atom. Is this clear? Sir. Sir. Yeah, take note. Sir. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. sir. Okay. This is how you should calculate the uh, wave, uh, wave length of those lines. This is the method to calculate. You will get the uh, wavelength in nanometers directly. You know very well. See, in the uh, spectrum, I have told you already in the spectrum. If uh, wavelength goes, wavelength increases from left to right. Okay, assume that wavelength increases from left to right. Okay, first uh, you'll get UV. This is UV range, right? Assume that up to this UV range, then we have visible. This is UV. This is visible like that. Visible line starts from 400 nanometers to 
to 800 nanometers roughly visible covers from 400 nanometer to 800 okay below visible from 200 to uh, yeah from 200 to 400 uh, we have what is called the uv region i'm sorry below i'm sorry below zero right below 400 we have uv not 200 i'm sorry below okay we have uh, near uv and we have far uv and all. so we have uh, we got the wavelength as 121.46 which comes in the uv region 400 to 800 is visible below 400 we have uv then below uv we have uh, even a lower wavelength radiation okay uh, it, it comes around 100 or uh, 50 nanometer like that okay it comes in for far uv actually right now we go to the next one this is the method to find the wave numbers of those lines. Let me take the next one. Uh, limiting Lyman line. How to calculate limiting Lyman line. Limiting Lyman line and the wave number or wavelength of that limiting line. How to find the wavelength or wave number of the limiting Lyman line. What is limiting Lyman line? Observe carefully. N2 means higher level, N1 means lower level. Okay. If lower level is 1 and higher level be 2, 3, 4, etc., then all those lines are all those transitions from N2 to N1 will produce lines in this photographic plane, and those lines are called as Hyman lines. Okay, here N1 should be 1, N2 should be 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Suppose if N2 is the infinitely high level, then this transition, infinity to 1 transition, will produce a line which is called the limiting Lyman line. That line is called limiting Lyman line in the hydrogen spectrum. Limiting Lyman line. Now, what is the wave number of this line? Wave number of uh, limiting line. Okay. Limiting Lyman line, uh, okay. I'll just write new bar. New bar equal to you know very well the formula for new bar is Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom into z square into 1 by n1 square, n1 value is 1, so 1 square is 1 minus 1 by n2 square, n2 value is now infinity, infinity, so I'll put infinity here, okay. So new bar equal to Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom into z square so this become 1 and 1 by infinity is 0 therefore what we get is u bar equal to rh into z square rh into z square this is the formula for limiting line wave number of limiting line limiting lyman line this is the formula for wave number of limiting lyman line limiting lyman line i'll put triple l so triple l means Wave number for limiting Lyman line. No doubt. I, I, just for understanding purpose, I will like this. Okay. And what is the corresponding wave number? Suppose if you take hydrogen atom. For hydrogen atom, Z is 1. Therefore, the wave number of limiting line is equal to Rh. Because Z is 1. Right. And what is the corresponding wavelength? So, wavelength for limiting line is equal to. Wavelength is nothing but reciprocal of wave number. Okay, and wave number we thought is one Rh here. So we'll get 1 by Rh. The value of 1 by Rh is 91.1 nanometers. So the limiting line will appear at the at the wavelength of 91.1 nanometers.
limiting lime and lime. Okay. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, not the not formula. Remember the formula. This is very important. This is formula for wave number of limiting lime and lime. Similarly, we have formula for Balmer, formula for uh, passion, bracket, fund lines, right? But uh, all these formulas, they have some common uh, relations, so we can easily identify that. Okay, now. Now, let me go to the next one, that is Balmer lines or Balmer series. Balmer series. Actually, uh, Balmer is a school teacher, okay, who actually performed this experiment and he uh, found uh, the lines that some lines are appearing in the visible region of the spectrum. He analyzed those lines and he gave a formula, okay. So, for Bal Balmer formula, but we are not going to discuss that, okay, just for understand, uh, for information sake, I am giving this idea. Okay, Balmer line, Balmer is a school teacher. What he did was, isn't he analyzed the hydrogen spectrum, that is the uh, lines that appear in the visible region of the hydrogen spectrum. Okay, and those lines are called as Balmer lines, and the bunch is called a Balmer series. So remember, Balmer series appears. Balmer series appear, right, in the visible region of the spectrum. Visible region means you can see those lines through naked eye. Okay. Balmer series appear in the visible region of the spectrum. Okay. Now, when we call uh, a line as a Balmer line. Okay. So, if the higher level, let me write here N2 and the lower level is N1. If the lower level is 2, observe this carefully. In the case of Lyman line, lower level is 1. Whereas in the case of Balmer, lower level is 2. Higher level can be anything 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. up to infinity. Okay, so what I am trying to say in the case of hydrogen atom, we have a nucleus. This is the first uh, level, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, sixth level. Like that, we have many, many. Actually, we should put circular orbit. Okay, I didn't draw a circular orbit. I just showing. I'm just showing you the curves. Okay, this is the first orbit. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Like that, we have many, many lines. Observe this carefully. Transition from three to two will give you a line in the hydrogen spectrum. It is called a Balmer line. Transition from four to two will give you a line which is also called a Balmer line. Similarly, 5 to 2, 6 to 2, 7 to 2, right? Any higher level, if transition takes place from any higher level to the second level, okay, will produce a line in the hydrogen spectrum. Those lines are called as Balmer lines. Okay, so 3 to 1 will give you a line. 4 to, I'm sorry, 3 to 2 will give you a line. 4 to 2 will give another line. 5 to 2 will give another line. 6 to 2 and give you another line and these lines appears very closely and it appears as a bunch. That bunch of lines we call that as Balmer series. Each line is called a Balmer line and the bunch is called a Balmer series. Okay, so 3 to 2, 4 to 2, 5 to 2, infinity to all these transitions produce lines and these lines are called as Lyman lines. I am sorry, Balmer lines. Right? And Balmer lines appear in the visible region of the spectrum. Okay, keep that in mind. Very, very important. Now, what is the formula for uh, wave number? Wave number, you know the general formula is this. Wave number equal to Redberg constant for hydrogen atom into Z square into 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square. Okay, this is the uh, formula uh, for uh, Redberg constant, uh, sorry, uh, wave number, and this formula I have told you it is applicable for any line in the hydrogen spectrum. Okay, any line, Lyman line, Balmer line, Passion, for any line you can use this. For Balmer line, 
new bar equal to R H into Z square into now for Balmer line lower level should be two. Therefore, I'll put in the place of n one I'll put two. So two square is four. So this become one by four. Higher level can be anything. So I'll just put n two square. Here. So one by four minus one by n two square. This is the formula for wave number of any Balmer line. This is the formula for wave number of any Balmer Balmer line. It is applicable not only for hydrogen atom. It is applicable for any hydrogen-like species. Okay, and you know very well this line that is three to two. N two is three, and N one is two. Higher level is three, lower level is one. This transition. Will give you a line, and that line is called the ball first Balmer line. Line is called the first Balmer line. Okay, n two equal to three to n one equal to two. This transition will give you a line. It's called first Balmer line. Okay, it is sometimes called as H alpha line. People call this as H alpha line. Students observe carefully. H alpha line is the is the first Balmer line which appear in the visible region of the spectrum. H alpha. Line. Now, I'll show you how to calculate the uh, wave number of the first that is H alpha line or the first Balmer line. How to calculate this? Okay. See, new bar equal to you know the formula. First, I'll, I'll calculate this for hydrogen atom. I'll calculate this for hydrogen atom. So for hydrogen atom, Z is one. Okay, Z equal to one. Therefore, wave number equal to R H into Z is one. So one square is one. I am not going to write that. Into one by four minus one by. See, lower level is two, so it become four. Higher level, you should you should focus only on higher level in the case of Balmer. Okay, higher level is three. So if I put three here, three square is nine. So we'll get one by nine. Okay, or I can write this as R H into. So if we take a uh, uh, LCM, I'll get thirty six here, and here in the numerator we'll get five. So five by thirty six. Right. This is the wave number. What is the corresponding wavelength? Okay, wavelength is the reciprocal of wave number. So let me write in the next page. So the corresponding wave length lambda lambda for the first Balmer line or lambda for the H alpha line lambda for the H alpha line first Balmer line is nothing but Rydberg constant into phi uh, by thirty six. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rewrite wavelength for H alpha line is equal to one by wave number for the first Balmer line. Okay, what is the wave number for the first Balmer line? We got the value is R H into phi by thirty six, which is in the denominator. If I make it into numerator, I will get one by R H into thirty six by phi. And you know very well the value of one by R H is ninety one point one nanometers. Right into thirty six by five. So what we get is we give the value so ninety one point one into thirty six divided by five. We get a value six hundred and fifty five point nine two nanometers. Okay, six hundred and fifty-five. I have told you four hundred to eight hundred nanometers is the range for visible. Four hundred to eight hundred is the range for visible. So six fifty-five point nine two comes okay in this range. So this is actually a Balmer line. Okay, and this is the first Balmer line or uh, wavelength of the H alpha line. You can see that. Okay, take. It. So this is nothing but wavelength for the First Balmer line, 
I'll just put FBL, first Balmer line. It is also called wavelength for H alpha line. H alpha line. Right. This is the method we should follow. Okay. And uh, remember uh, the value of 1 by Rh and all. So very, very important. Okay, if you want the value in angstrom unit, sometimes they'll give the last in angstrom unit. The value of uh, 1 by Rh in angstrom unit is 911 90, uh, angstrom units. It's roughly 911. If you want the 1 by Rh value, if you want the answer in angstrom unit, you can use this one. Okay, 91.1 is in nanometer. 911 is in angstrom units. That's all. Okay, take. And what is the limiting line? Okay, limiting Balmer line. Limiting. Ah, okay. Before that, I'll just do another one. H beta line. I have told you what is H alpha line. Right now, I'll do H beta line. H beta line in the Balmer series. Okay, students observe carefully. What is H alpha line? This H alpha, H beta, these are all names or uh, symbols given for lines appearing in the visible region. H alpha line is the first Balmer line actually. First Balmer line. H beta line is the second Balmer line. Simple. What is first Balmer line? Transition from higher level 3 to 2 is called the first Balmer line. Then transition from 4 to 2 will give you the second Balmer line that is called H beta line. Okay, so if you want wave number or wavelength for H beta line, what we should do? In the higher wave num quantum number, you put n, n, n to equal n to as 4. So, uh, let me let me explain, show you. So, what is the uh, wave number for H beta line? Okay, we we'll write like this: wave number for H beta line. Okay, what is the wave number for H beta line? Very simple. Redberg constant for hydrogen atom into z square for hydrogen atom. It is z value is one, so I'll put one. One square is one into 1 by lower level for Balmer line, lower level should be always 2. So, 2 square is 4 minus higher level for H beta line, higher level should be 4, 4 square is 16. Okay, I have told you, no? for uh, H beta line, see for H alpha line, higher level is 3, lower level should be 2. For H beta line, higher level is 4, lower level should be 2. Okay, this alpha beta symbols are used only for lines appearing in the visible region. So, only Balmer lines appear in the visible region. Therefore, H alpha H beta lines means they are Balmer lines. H alpha is the first Balmer line, H beta is the second Balmer line. Okay, so if I substitute this value here, what we get is Rh into, let me take the reciprocal, so six, uh, I'll, I'll find the LCM. So LCM is 16, 4, you get 4 here, you get 1 here, 4 minus 1 is 3. So RH into 3 by 16 or the corresponding wavelength for H beta line is reciprocal of this wave number. So you take the reciprocal of this, which is 1 by RH times 3 by 16, right? Or I can write this as 1 by RH into 16 by 3. And the value of 1 by Rh, I have told you 91.1 nanometers, okay, times 16 by 3. So, uh, if you calculate the value, you will get answer as uh, 91.1 into 16 divided by 3. We get the value around 485.86 nanometers. So this is the wavelength for the H beta line. H beta line means uh, second Balmer line. Okay, keep that in mind. 
H beta line is nothing but second ball. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Stop here. We'll continue the next.